Welcome back to Life to the Max. You know, one way to get kids involved in the outdoors is to give them a sense of ownership. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crow River Trail Guards. Nature is beautiful in its pristine natural state, but sometimes that's not how we get to see it. In Painesville, Minnesota, there is a youth organization called the Crow River Trail Guards that was started to combat that very condition in their community. Everybody knows what the rules are, right? Okay, what's the very, what's first rule of trail guards? Nobody has to work. Okay, nobody has to work. Well, why do we have that rule? We just want you to be here. We're just glad that you guys are here. Okay, and what's second rule of trail guards? No swearing. No swearing. Okay, what does the no swearing rule really mean? Oh. It means that we want to be respectful of ourselves and we want to re be respectful of the others around us. We want to be aware of what's coming out of our mouth. We want to keep things positive and upbeat and uh, supportive. And that's what that rule's all about. What's the third rule of trail guards? No smoking. No smoking. You know, everybody here is a, is a role model for somebody else and a, and a mentor for somebody else. Even if you're only 10 years old, there are other people looking up to you and want to be like you for one reason or another. Tom Cushel started the Crow River Trail Guards organization in 1992, originally to build a trail system along the Crow River in his hometown. But it became so much more. The original idea was really environmental awareness through positive exposure. Um, because of my association with the river and canoeing and, and kayaking it off and solo and you get a you know a deep appreciation for that and I just felt that if we could bring people down expose them to the river bottom area in a positive way it would make people think about the environment and, and then really the trail guard organization grew out of that it, it never intended to start a youth organization uh, the kids came down helped work on the park and uh, actually, I had some kids down here one day pestering me to be trail guides, to guide people on the trails, and I turned around and said, you know what we really need are trail guards to guard the trails from vandals and so forth, and that's where the name came from and just grew from there. Young individuals ranging from ages 8 to 19 work every Saturday morning from April through October, cleaning up and maintaining the park. Okay, let's find some stuff to do. You just shovel it into this. Okay. Can you tell me what you do with these again? Oh, uh, we put them on their trail, so because like the trails are all dirty and stuff. Toys and gizmos, making work more fun at any age. Hey, how long have you been the park and trail maintenance take place out in the wild, but the trail guards work like a well-oiled domestic machine. There's always work to be done, but the group takes breaks for educational opportunities from visiting guests as well. To me, when I look at this, it looks at the community service group that you guys are at. That's what you guys are, a major community service group. Because if we didn't have you guys that are cleaning these rivers up here in the trails here, this would be a mess. So be proud of yourselves for the work that you guys do. What are some other things that the police department is there for? I mean, other than picking people up and giving them tickets. We've had missing children before too from the bus service. Um, medical calls, we respond to probably about 75% of the medical calls in town here. One of the primary goals of the Trail Guards organization is to provide for participants positive, exciting, and educational experiences in nature. Tom Kushel has been an awesome person for this group. He's been a very good leader. Uh, he's brought these kids together. He's helped organizing this group year after year after year. Uh, none of these kids I've seen come through our system at all. And, and that's a benefit that I recognize right away. The group receives a tremendous amount of support and recognition from individuals, organizations, local government, and businesses in the community. Tom is from the Trail Guards, or I think more appropriately, the Crow River Trail Guards. He does exactly what REI loves. We're camping and cycling and skiing and canoeing and that sort of thing. And that's exactly what he does. He gets these kids out to the boundary waters, gets them to experience paddling and camping. He gets them mountain biking and road biking. It's everything that we love in the outdoors. It's a perfect fit. So we have a check for $2,756. This is for Tom. Okay. And uh, hidden upstairs, uh, we've got additional five bicycles for you. Uh, part of our stewardship mission for the company is to help get people outdoors. And our hope is that uh, we don't want the gear to be a barrier to these kids getting outside. So if it's bikes, if it's uh, boats, if it's camping gear, um, whatever it is, our goal is that these grants will provide that gear 
and experience for those kids. I'm very supportive of what Tom is doing with this Trail Guards program. Um, Minocqua has been involved with providing the fishing program for the Trail Guards. Um, we come up and we provide the fishing equipment and some aquatic education classes um, on safety and water quality and um, stewardship and then take the group fishing. The kids are enthusiastic. Um, when I see Tom in front of the kids, the kids just respect him so much, their eyes light up. I know that they're having um, a wonderful time in their growing experiences that they'll remember for the rest of their life. Katie, move. Trail Guards provides the kids an opportunity to connect to something that's larger than themselves. And I was invited to be a female co-leader for the trip this summer to the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness that they provide every summer for the Trail Guards kids. It's so exciting to see their eyes light up at something like a lily pad unfolding or the clouds breaking and a double rainbow being at the campsite. It's gorgeous. Trail Guards gets kids outside connected to the natural world and you know they're going to be lasting memories and that they really make a difference. The organization has a unique reward program that grants quite a variety of outdoor adventure opportunities free of cost to the Trail Guard members. We worked into that years ago and, and began our what we call our outdoor adventure rewards and the kids uh, earn points by being here. They get two points per hour, they get an extra point for wearing their, their Trail Guard shirt and uh, they can redeem those points for trips. You can't buy your way into a Trail Guard trip. That takes money out of the out of the equation and everybody has an equal opportunity and, and that way we've been able to provide some really outstanding trips for some kids who may not have had that opportunity. Uh, we do a Boundary Waters trip every year, a uh, whitewater rafting trip. Uh, we do a local canoe and kayak picnic cruise, do our local fall fishing day, we do our uh, local May bike trip which is a self-contained bicycle camping trip. We also sponsor yearly uh, One Youth on an international bike trip with Two Wheel View a great nonprofit organization out of Calgary and Minneapolis. Uh, this year we're sponsoring a, a girl to go to Norway and we're planning our first Everglades canoe kayak camping trip in southwest Florida for next February or March. Anybody feel like getting wet at all? Okay well listen we got a big tractor tire that's in the river Okay, down by the, where the willow tree goes out at Billy's Rest. Wow, the enthusiasm amongst them is contagious. They're eager to tackle a work challenge as if they see it as an adventure itself. I wondered what was the source of their eagerness. Well, you get to be outside and in the nature and you get to give something back to the community and everything. It's nice to clean up the river because otherwise it would be really dirty. Like, for example, the bridge, it broke and then you can walk by it and see, oh, we fixed that today. I was in fifth grade when I started. And my friend was like, oh, come to Trail Guards, it's really fun. We can hang out on Saturday mornings and we just have fun. A lot of our friends are down there, so we get to spend time with our friends on Saturday mornings. To do something that's good for everybody else, not just for yourself. I'm hoping to stay with Trail Guards. Like when I'm older, I want to be like the co-leader for like the trips to go to, like Boundary Waters and stuff like that. Nature and caring for Mother Earth is a primary motivator for the participant. But I found out for myself, the Trail Guards really have an appreciation for the adventures they get to experience. You get a lot of opportunities to go on like the bike trip or boundary waters or whitewater rafting. <laughs> It's kind of scary, but that's kind of makes it fun. I had a really good time. There was a lot of people, in the, uh, different people in the raft, and it's always a great experience, and yeah, you get wet, it's fun. The trail guards love the adventure trips, but also recognize they're not just about having fun. They are rich opportunities to learn about their inner selves, to develop skills they can use the rest of their lives, whatever's in their future and become strong, honorable individuals. I get to do a whole bunch of special stuff, like going to Boundary Water, you get to learn what your strengths are. In wet water rafting, you get to learn like how much you can handle, like fear-wise. In the town, a lot of the people have compliments on the river and how clean it is and how nice the trails look, because before Tom started all this, it just looked like a big pile of nothing, so we definitely straightened it out and made it look a lot better. Uh, it's a decent program that should be continued on, and many kids should join it. If the phrase, the children are the future, is true, the Crow River Trail Guards organization and its members are a shining example of hope and inspiration for the future of the world. If you'd like to become a Crow River Trail Guard member or help the organization, 
visit their website and get involved today. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.